Hi there, Donna here, and it is week two of my post-op recovery after rotator cuff surgery and bicep tendon repair and labral uh, tear. So I would definitely say that week one through two has been better, much better than week zero to week one. I definitely am able to do more things. I am now not taking the narcotic pain medicine at all. I was taking it just at night and for the last three nights I haven't even taken it. I'm just doing um, either Advil or Tylenol and if it, if it is bothersome, um, really bothersome, then I'll take two Advil and two Tylenol together. But I think the, I, I don't really have pain in the incision site at all. It's mainly, I find that I get muscle spasms in the back, right back in here, in my muscle, <clears throat> back of my shoulder, and then neck, neck uh, spasms that cause some headaches. And that's probably because of my shoulder strap. I think that really has a lot to do with it. So when I'm sitting, um, I take this strap, un unhook it, and just kind of leave my arm hang. And if I need to put a pillow underneath it, I will. But that takes a lot of the tension off. Uh, and I guess that's all normal from, from what I hear. <clears throat> I did see the doctor today and everything looks well. I have to continue three times a day taking my arm out of the sling, letting my arm hang, and then doing the dangles and uh, rotating clockwise, counterclockwise, and then moving, um, letting it just kind of go forward and back and side to side. And then a new, a new exercise he wants me to do is to let the arm hang on a table like this, just rest, and then walk forward with my fingers and then walk it back as much as I can and I don't have a whole lot of range at this point and that'll just take time. So that is all the exercises that uh, I'm able to do. I can go for walks. I can't run yet. Um, <clears throat> I also can't when I have it out of the sling. I'm not allowed to, when it's down like this to bend it, which I didn't realize I'm not supposed to do that because of the bicep tendon repair. He doesn't want me doing that. So if I need to lift it, I have to take my right hand and lift up the left arm. Some things that I am finding still to be very helpful are uh, is A, the ice cuff machine. I'm using that at bedtime and then if I really have, you know, if I overdo it with walking around too much or, you know, cleaning some things up or doing laundry, <clears throat> then I'll sit and put that on for an hour. And then I still love my Tefu massage lotion. That just feels really nice. And uh, I use, I apply lavender as well to... Um, to my shoulder area up here and then I am putting it on like the incision area as well just to help help that heal. The other thing I purchased that I, I think is very helpful is it's called a back knobber and it's in the shape of an S as you see and this this top part is a little more angled than the bottom part to get different parts of your body so what it does is like if I put it, I can do it one handed, which is a beautiful thing. And I just put that little knob on the area of my muscle that is spasming, and I just put pressure on it or rub it up and down, and it just really kind of breaks up the spasms. And I bought this on Amazon, it was $35. I definitely think I will use this a lot though. I already have been and you can use it for other parts of your body as well, but it does help get, you know, your back in any area that you need. I also found 
I talked last week about my uniform. I found this top, it, it's uh, Suzanne Summers three-way poncho, and you can get it at Bed Bath & Beyond for 10 bucks, and it comes in two different sizes. There's small to large and then a extra large to 3x so it's you know a good range and it's really nice because it's very stretchy very very comfortable um, the three ways you can wear it I think this way you can lift it all up and wear it as a hood um, and you can wear it off the shoulder like this which is nice because I went, you know, when I went to the doctor's office, you know, I figured they were going to be looking at it. They took the Steri strips off. And so I could just pull this down and uh, they could look at everything on the shoulder. And that way, you know, it's just easy to put lotion on and it's super, super comfortable. So you can check that out. Um, I'm also able to put a camisole on underneath. So definitely I... I'm learning to utilize my right hand a lot more. I can do laundry. Uh, folding clothes is a little tough. It takes a lot longer. Uh, it's nice to have someone else do it. And what I find in my family is if I start doing things, then I'm just expected to continue. So if you can back off, because it, it definitely, you can't do things the way you were able to do it and you get tired much easier. I find if I, someone takes me out on an errand, I'm, I'm pooped by the time I get back. So you, at least for me, I definitely don't have all my energy back. I'm not a hundred percent this past week. It definitely was more emotional. Um, things bothered me easier than they normally did, which is not truly, you know, how I am. So, uh, I, I'm, I think this week will definitely be better. And from what I hear, by the time you reach week three, you're feeling pretty good. So, <clears throat> like I said, I think the worst part is really just the spasms that I have. Ugh. Yeah. It's just, um, that aches, but, but, um, no real severe pain. I'm sleeping okay at night, uh, still in my recliner, and because that is more comfortable. I tried to lay on my bed, like propped up with a lot of pillows, but it just seemed like it caused more achiness. The recliner just fits me better. I don't know. So I'm still in the recliner, and I go back to the doctor in four weeks. And I will start uh, physical therapy at my at six weeks. So hang in there. It um, you know it, it's patience grasshopper. That's what it is. You really just have to be patient and rely on other people to help you. The worst part is not driving. Really, I hate that. Um, but it you know figure out ways to. Uh, be productive at home, reading, learning something new, and um, expanding your mind. That's stay positive. You just need to stay positive. All right, signing out. I will um, check in again. Uh, maybe yeah, yeah, I'll check in at week three. Bye.